Hi there, this is Eric Sauvé. Um, this week I uh, faced a pretty big problem in one of our uh, lab environment where uh, the database usage capacity just blew up and went up to uh, almost like 12 gigs. You know, like less than a month ago, it was like, you know, just a few hundred megs and it just blew up like within a month. Um, looking at the stats, database usage, as you can see, the flow run table is uh, the one that is consuming all that. This table is uh, like a new feature that's being rolled out and will uh, provide a lot of capabilities around the automation center. And it will uh, give you opportunities to do <coughs> stuff like uh, uh, if a flow uh, if a flow fails, that you can do retries, things like that, and uh, have a, a co-pilot kind of help you out through your automations and stuff like that. Very useful, but uh, by default, it adds and like what it does is like every uh, entry that you typically get into a flow history gets logged into Dataverse as a record in this flow run table. So uh, it can add up pretty quickly. In uh, this case, <clears throat> when I looked at this, it meant about 4.5 million records in only a month. So that's why it blew up to about like uh, 12, almost like 12 gigs. So how do you change this? Because, uh, you know, keep in mind, you don't lose the history. It's just the ability to act on it. So maybe in some cases it's okay to have 28 days, but maybe in some other cases it's okay. It's better to have only like one, two or three days. So how do you change this and uh, control this? That's what we're going to be talking about. And also how do you clean this up? And uh, it's going to take a while. As you see here, I've started to clean this up, started a process to clean this up, but like it's going to be taking a couple of days to process, to process this thing. So. In a, the uh, Power Platform Admin Center, uh, when you go on a, uh, an environment, uh, you go under Settings, then within the uh, Product section under Features, what you'll do is scroll down all the way to Desktop, uh, no, not this one, sorry, that's the other one, uh, Cloud Row, Cloudflow Run History in Dataverse. This is a preview feature, but thank you, preview feature. You're uh, just uh, doing something pretty awful to my database. But um, I think like in some of the new databases or things like that, it, it might get enabled by default or things like that. And the thing is, as you see here, enabled 28 days retention by default. That's pretty huge. So if you come here, you can just change it, you know, lower it to uh, less number of days, or you can disable it. Uh, and then, you know, don't forget to save when you do, let's say I do a change here. Uh, don't forget to, um, uh, where's my save? Ah, <laughs> it's over my picture. Let me change this. Uh, that's so much fun. Uh, if I change the save, oh, yeah, I moved to the left. So here is the save button. So, so just don't forget to uh, hit the save button here when you, you do the change. Uh, and if ever this is uh, not how you want to do it, let's say you want to do a two days retention or, or less, uh, what you'll have to do is browse through the tables and uh, look at the organization table. And you look for the, the column time to live in seconds. And, you know, here it's zero because it's disabled, but you could change it, you know, to a specific number of seconds. So calculate, you know, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours a day, and then, you know, get the map to the number of specific number of days that you would want to set in here. So if you change this, uh, when you go back to the uh, admin here, you'll see like a custom value to be displayed. <clears throat> now about the actual flow runs, that's also a table you can browse to. So if I go back to my level here and I do a search, oops, search on my tables for flow runs and the uh, 
floor on. So you have your table here. So you see it's an elastic table. They make it more efficient. And as you see here right now, I have three and a half million records. Uh, when I started this about two days ago, I had like 4.8 million records here. So it's proceeding through this. And how did I uh, get this rolling? Pretty much in uh, the advanced settings, you can go into the data man management part and go through the bulk record uh, deletion process and you just create a new process that you filter through. So if I look at my jobs here, so I got one running and pretty much what I uh, said is like anything created on or before my birthday, June 3rd, uh, would be deleted. So, so far, a million, 1.2 million uh, that have been deleted and uh, it's just rolling. It's been, been rolling for about two days now or a day and a half. So that's how you get to clean this up. So again, great features. Uh, thank you. But at the same time, uh, be aware of the uh, database capacity this has on you. So if you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.